it's time to fire this thing up. Well, John, you excited to be going fishing? That's ah, good to be on the pursuit, but man, this isn't the monorail. You know, we do the deep dropping for the tile fish. You know, we've got that electric reel and the dolphin fishing, the big cockpit. It's nice, but it's not a sport fish, you know? Yeah, it's not the monorail, that's for sure. What's the deal with that boat? Man, it hasn't been in the water for like a year. It's been just a little over a year actually, John, and I figured you'd be asking about it, so I had the guys put together a little montage of what a uh, year's worth of work has been on the monitor. The team has been working furiously on the boat, and a lot of stuff you haven't seen is behind the scenes, and we kind of wanted to bring everybody up to speed. But we're really excited because today here at Ship Shape TV, we're actually going to be bringing the boat into the paint shed, and we're going to put a new coat of paint on it, all right? Now, we're going to learn about different types of paints, and in the marine paint field, we're going to learn about some of the different variables there. We're going to be working with an actual professional applicator, looking at some of his tools, some of the techniques, and then getting back to this pursuit project boat. Take a look at some of the teak wood accent pieces around the boat. About three years ago, we varnished them. We put some clear polyurethane coatings over it to get some real longevity out of it. But inevitably, the sun, the UV, acid rains, kind of breaking stuff down. We've got some gray spotting in some certain areas and on some edges. Well, we want to teach you how to save some time on your varnish work by attempting spot repairs. Okay, it isn't easy, but it can be done. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange with, again, the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be doing our absolute very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape.